Oh, YouTube. Oh, YouTube. Okay, I hate to do it, but we are going to return the Brooks Ravenna 9 today. I tried 11 miles in the shoe. I know it's not that much, but essentially the outsole in the heel area is a little too hard. And so, especially with the plantar fasciitis in my left foot, it's making my plantar scream at me when I'm running. So I got to return it. And shout out to Roadrunner Sports again for taking care of me. They said, no questions asked. You can return a shoe for any reason within the first 30 days. No questions asked. So uh, I'm going to go return this and possibly get another pair of beacons or another pair of turbos or who knows, maybe a brand new shoe. I don't know. You guys are commenting so much on the, your fa on yesterday's vlog, actually, your favorite running shoe, like the Ultra uh, Peak 3.5, which I believe the 4.0 is now out for the Ultra Peak. Lone Peak, that's what it is. And then who else? Uh, the Saucony ISO Freedom. Uh, what else? A lot of Beacon fans and uh, uh, some New Balance 1080 fans. Anyway, I'm going to go explore. I know now that, and this is, a, this is a good shoe. Don't get me wrong. The Brooks Ravenna 9, it's a good shoe, but I think because of my planter, it's just not quite the right one for now. But who knows? Maybe down the road, I would jump back in it. All right, let's go. Thank you, Roadrunner Sports, for taking care of me. Come on. Awesome. So, I kind of I'll tell you what I what, what I you found here. Sweet. Um, so the Torin, I grabbed. We had women's nine. We didn't have anything below the men's nine, so I started with that. Cool. The other three that you were looking at. Yeah. Um, I grabbed it. You were talking about like yep. wanting to get like focusing on the planner and having really good soft cushioning. Yeah. Um, I brought the Brooks Levitate. Cool. And then the Adidas Ultra Boost, which I think like as far as getting like really soft, comfortable stuff under your heel to kind of make it through the, the season here. Yeah. Might be kind of your okay. really good options. Cool. Um, so those are there too. I just have to chuck down the... And ten. Eight and a half and ten? Yeah, so I got oh, wow. eight and a half. Okay. Um figuring ten would probably be oh, there yet. That yeah. Might be a try on there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but this might be two stock, so we'll see. Perfect. Yeah. Andrew's working hard, taking care of me. Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> Roadrunner Sports, you gotta check them out. They're just great customer service. Seriously. I've been to a lot of running shoe stores and uh, Anyway, you guys are you guys are awesome. <laughs> so, think. All right, the Vongos or the Torrens? What's it gonna be, guys? What's it gonna be? I'll show you at the trailhead. I'm going to run right now. Stay tuned, YouTube. So Perfect. You got everything. There. Do you want a bag? If you have one, totally. That'd be awesome. Boom. Hop up! Yeah! Sweet. What's you guys' next race? Spring marathon, but I'm not sure exactly Ooh. what. Yeah. Me too. Nice. I'm looking at grandma's oh, in, yeah. in June. I was incorrect. If you are a part of their VIP family, which I frankly think it's pretty affordable. We'll talk more about that later, but it's 90 days. You have 90 days, no questions asked, to return your shoes if you don't like them. So I would never... I would never put like a hundred miles in a shoe and then go return them like that's not really ethical people but if you just you know like the Brooks Ravenna 9 it just did not work out for my foot and so anyway no questions asked and they took back the Ravenna 9 and I got the mystery shoe in here all right let's go to the trailhead and put it on what did I go with what did I go with the mystery shoe okay did I go with the Vongo or did I go with the Torin? Ready? Think, by the way, thank you, Roadrunner Sports. Woo, baby! The 
Ultra. This is my first time ever in an Ultra shoe, a zero drop shoe. And yes, that is the key word of the day. Zero for a zero drop shoe. Ultra is a, it's, it's a new genre of running shoes. Re actually, I will look up when this company started. I actually don't even know. I would suspect that it was within the last eight years. Ultra has a zero drop from heel to toe. So it's a flat as a pancake. And I will explain back at the shed, back at the studio, why I decided to go with this shoe over the Vongo. Uh, bottom line, I'm intrigued, very intrigued. So let's take it out. We're gonna go on the dirt first here in Northern Denver, wherever I'm at, at a park. And then we're gonna go in an urban environment, test it out in the streets of Denver. So, oh man, ultra touring. Oh boy, we got receipts. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Dirt test done in the Ultra Torrens. Let's go find some pavement. Come on, come on. Solid five miles in downtown Denver. Little urban test for the ultras. And well, I'll give you my opinion back at the house. All right, let's go. Family's asleep. I'm out in the shed recording for you guys. Thanks for being here, everybody. Got the Ultra Torin 3.5 in my hand fascinating but i first want to mention the new balance beacon so yesterday's vlog go check it out you don't even have to watch it just answer the question of the day in the comments what is your favorite running shoe of all time go comment on that video and essentially i am blown away by all of the information you guys are sharing about your favorite running shoes of all time i'm learning a lot about shoes from the 90s the 80s even the 70s a couple people so thank you for commenting and okay the ultra torrent i realize i am taking a risk in jumping into an ultra shoe now listen this is not my review of the shoe i want to just first of all talk about what is an ultra shoe essentially Ultra is a newer company. Actually, let me look up when they were founded. Hold on. All right, there we go. 2011. I was kind of right. I thought it was within the last eight years, and sure enough, Ultra was founded in 2011. Their story is pretty fascinating. Hop on their website, and you will be able to learn a lot about the, the two guys, the two friends from high school that started this company, and they are based out of Utah, I believe near Logan, Utah. So, what is Ultra known for? And I'm not an expert, okay? This is my first pair, but I just, I, I'm just gonna mention two things. First of all, the zero drop. So the Ultra Torin has a 24 millimeter stack height in the heel and a 24 millimeter stack height in the toe box, which means it's a zero drop shoe. So from the heel to the toe, there's no drop, which means it's flat as a pancake. And okay, so that's the first point. The second point is the toe box. So you probably noticed in the filming today when I was putting the shoe on my foot that the toe box 
looks a lot different than even uh, even the even the beacon. Most running shoes have a point. See that point on the on the uh, on the toe box and this beacon. Well, in the Ultra Torin and all Ultras, it's more rounded. It's more rounded. And from what I understand, essentially, they're trying to create a shoe that is shaped more like the human foot. And it's a definitely, definitely a wide toe box. In fact, in their marketing, on the inside of their shoe boxes, they explain the science behind why they like to have wide toe boxes in their shoes. I believe, I mean, from what I understand, they want the, the toes to spread out when you're running. They don't want them to be scrunched up at all. They want them to kind of splay, as it's called. So spread out. Why? I don't know exactly yet. But those are the two features that really stood out to me in running in this shoe for the first time. With that said, why did I buy this shoe over the New Balance Vongo? Well, as I mentioned, they didn't have my size in the Vongo, so that's one reason. But as I was jogging around the store, I felt like this shoe was stretching my arch in a good way, I think. Check back in in like two days, a week from now, two weeks from now. Essentially, because of my plantar fasciitis, I I know this is a debate in the comments, and essentially some people are saying a higher drop, so like a 10 millimeter or a 12 millimeter drop in a shoe is better because it relieves pressure from your uh, your Achilles and your I guess soleus on your on your lower leg. But there's also people commenting, no, 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 you want a low drop shoe, so like a six millimeter and below or a zero drop like this guy in order to stretch out your Achilles more and in theory stretch out your plantar, your fascia more on the bottom of your foot and the muscles on the bottom of your foot. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's best. And essentially I could feel a little bit of stretching around my arch, around my heel. It didn't hurt per se, but I could feel a stretching. So just want to put that out there. Um, if you're looking into an ultra shoe for the first time, like it felt like the arch was just stretching a little bit, but not in a bad way. So stay tuned and I'll keep you posted on how my PF reacts to a zero drop shoe. And of course the question of the day, have you ever worn and ran in an ultra shoe? If so, what did you think? Or if you are skeptical of Ultra, why? I must say, I'm still very skeptical. I don't know. This is my first pair ever. I've only worn, I, I did five miles today in it, so check back in with me in about 45 more miles and I'll let you know what I think. But so far, I'm intrigued. I'm not excited. I'm not disappointed. I'm intrigued. Capiche? One last point as to why I went with this shoe over all the other shoes I tried on, and I tried on Adidas. Uh, Brooks again, uh, Saucony, no, I did not do Saucony, um, New Balance again, Bro Nike, uh, I, I tried a lot of shoes on today, it was amazing, but it was the soft underfoot that got me pretty excited about this Torin. Again, a little bit because of my PF, I'm trying to baby it a little bit right now, and so I turned in the Ravenna 9s, the Brooks Ravenna 9s, because the outsole was just a little too hard. So this outsole, it looks like it's hard, but it's actually, it's not, it's not that hard. And so this is the Ultras, this is Ultras version of their road shoe. This is their road shoe. And it looks like a funky road shoe compared to all other road shoes, but just wait until you see some of their trail shoes. Oh my goodness. Again, check back in in about 45 miles. So when I've put 50 miles in a shoe, I usually have a pretty good idea as to what it feels like. So check back in probably in about two weeks and I'll give you my thoughts on this guy. Uh, so far, so good, but I'm just being balanced in my reaction because it's my first ultra shoe ever. You're amazing. You rock. You know the drill. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Thanks for being here. Ah, and yes, I will see you all tomorrow. Sound good? Sound good? I'll be here. If you're here, I'll be here. Whew. Time to go edit.